internet is an amazing thing. Really, it is. I'm not saying that to be cliche because the reality is we have access to more music than ever before. No longer do we have to pay insane prices for unpredictable bootlegs or know someone who happens to have an awesome collection to hear rare things from our favorite band. Now with only a few clicks, we can see hours upon hours of live performances and hard to find tracks from all of our favorite bands. But there's one recent trend that I just don't get. It's this fascination people are having with what they're calling these isolated vocal tracks or these posts where someone has stripped away all of the instrumentation from a song so only the singer's voice remains. People have been blowing their social media loads all over the place because apparently until now, nobody knew that David Bowie and Marvin Gaye and Freddie Mercury had amazing voices. I guess with all that killer music around them, people just assume that the vocalist must have been the weak point in the band. I mean, I just don't get it. If a song was better without the music, they probably would have released it without the music. Also, in most cases with this song, all that they've done to create this isolated vocal track is strip away entire musical frequencies on the original song. So what you're actually hearing is a severely altered audio track. I'm not saying that it's not impressive, but you're not really hearing 100% of the real deal. Honestly, go listen to the isolated vocal version of Queen's Under Pressure, then go grab your copy of their Hot Space album. You tell me which version's better. If you said the isolated vocal version, you're lying and you're wrong. Maybe people are just shocked because we live in an era when big time pop stars have their voices so heavily manipulated in the studio that live performances might actually sound like a totally different person. And maybe we've collectively forgotten what real talent sounds like. I mean, what's next? Are people gonna start stripping away the bass lines on songs so we can say, wow, James Jameson and John Paul Jones had crazy bass skills. I mean, you get the idea of a band and a song, right? It's the combined sound that they create together that makes the song legendary. And you really need to be careful doing this because if you do it too much, eventually you're gonna stumble across a track where you remove your favorite singer's vocal and you find out that the day they recorded that one, he was having an off day or maybe an off career and you lose faith in your favorite band. These isolated vocal tracks just aren't anything special. They're not impressive and honestly, they're not new. And please stop labeling them or calling them acapella tracks. They're not. These are audio files that have been desecrated for some shock factor. That's all. Instead, just go ahead and turn up the original version of the song and appreciate how fantastic that vocal sounds alongside the rest of those instruments. All of those sounds are there for a reason. <laughs>